Hey guys, we have an update that we're doing for all of our shows on Libsyn. It's a very small uh, setting, very small option that many people may not be clicking on, but some are. We want to make sure that this gets fixed. Um, we are, well, let me just talk, let me just go through the, the details first. So in your, let's go to an episode, uh, previously released episodes, and I'll show you, I'll just edit this one as an example. On the details page, there's an option for, if you scroll down, the permalink to the show. So when someone, basically it looks like on Apple Podcasts, on the app, um, when you're looking at an episode, there's a button there that says episode web page. When you click on that, what happens is automatically it's going to the show's blog page, which means your show's blog page on Libsyn which dot libsyn dot com when you set up a libsyn account basically your show automatically gets a blog page so this is mainly utilized by podcasters that don't want to set up an entire website and then this is just where their site is on the web obviously you can see it looks like it's from 2000 um, nothing fancy. So when you set up your Libsyn account, it defaults to sending your permalink to this page. So if anybody's looking at your thing on Apple Podcasts and clicks see episode webpage, it takes them here instead of your website. Now, this is something that we just recently uh, realized and discovered after talking with people at Libsyn. So we are gradually going through and changing this. So what's going to happen is we will fix this setting moving forward and make sure it directs to your website. The problem is we need to go back and make edits for all of your previous episodes and change what the permalink is supposed to be there. Now this is gonna take some time and unfortunately we won't be able to do this for every single episode. So I'm gonna walk you through how to do it yourself or have a VA do it or something similar. Um, and it's not the most pressing thing, so we can do it gradually. It doesn't have to all be done like immediately. But essentially all you need to do is log into your Libsyn page, click content, and it will take you to all the episodes that are already released. Click the edit button, the pencil, the edit button for one episode. Navigate to the details tab and scroll down after the description to where you see permalink points to. Make sure you select custom URL. And then all you're gonna wanna do is post the episode link that goes back to your website. So if you have, let's go to the one thing.com. Um, and podcast. If you have all your podcasts posted on the web, on your website, we need to find the link that goes to the specific episode that we're talking about. So let's say it's 121 and then I'll grab the URL here. Now what's going to happen is moving forward when we post your show for you on your WordPress site or whatever it is, we'll grab this link and we'll put it in the Libsyn description for you. Um, like I said, it's just having someone on your team go back and do it for previous episodes. So just copy that link that goes to your website and put it here in the permalink URL and you're good to go. Then just go down and hit publish. No need to update ID3 tags for this. It won't affect that. Just hit publish and you're good to go. And unfortunately it's gonna take some time but we just gotta go back and edit this uh, a little bit as a, at a time. So um, let us know, uh, myself or Hayden, let us know if you have any questions on how to update this or if you need some help. Thank you.